So this is what we're making today. These beautiful potato patties, I guess you'd call them, yeah. So, let's get cooking. Alright, good morning, welcome to my channel, my name's John. Today, nice quick recipe and living proof that there is always a meal in the house. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our new season potatoes, I'm going to mash them up, um, I'm going to stir fry some onion, some red peppers and other stir fried vegetables, we'll chop those up, put them in with the mashed potato, cool them off in the fridge, put them in some panko breadcrumbs and shallow fry them, serve them with ch sweet chilli sauce and uh, some cherry tomatoes. Nice vegetarian light lunch, easy to do. Let's go. There's our potatoes and there we're just going to bring them to a rolling boil for around about 15 to 20 minutes. Now if you don't have fresh vegetables always keep a pack of frozen stir-fry veggies um, in your freezer and just use about half a cup. I'm going to let these thaw and chop them up before I stir-fry them with the red capsicum in the oven. Oh look at those, they're bubbling away nicely. Uh, the vegetables, they're all chopped up nice and fine and we're going to pop them into the saucepan with a knob of butter. We'll stir fry them up uh, and then we'll let them cool and then we'll put them in with the mashed potato. Right, so there's the potatoes all mashed. We're going to add a heaped teaspoon of mixed herbs. A couple of teaspoons of whole grain mustard. I've got some grated cheddar cheese here, about a third of a cup, and some ground black pepper. Now I'm just going to mix that through quickly with a fork because I don't want that cheese to get bogged down. Um, into the uh, mashed potato um, I had also previously added one vegetable stock cube. So, um, oh look at that. That's beautiful. Next we're going to add in our stir fried vegetables from this other frying pan, or saucepan rather. Mix these in. And these will be our patties. But I haven't <laughs> a hope of forming them into patties um, until they cool down. So I'm going to put the whole saucepan in the fridge and we'll come back. Oh, that. I could just sit and eat this now. Oh, beautiful. Right, so I've just got this out of the fridge and this is a lot easier to work with. I was actually going to spoon it out but I actually think I could probably get it into my hands uh, without it sticking too much. So you want to squash them down like this into your breadcrumbs 
then onto a plate. Simple as that. And then we're going to come back and put them in the pan. And there you have them all crumbed, ready for the fry pan, but I'm going to chill them for a bit more in the fridge just so they don't fall apart. Right, now we've got these out of the uh, fridge and we've got our fry pan at the right temperature which is noisy. <laughs> we'll pop these in. Probably looking at perhaps three minutes each side. So I'll come back when we're flipping. And there we have it, I've just flipped them over and they look pretty yummy. So um, we'll get them out of the pan in about three minutes and we'll plate up. And there you have them, all plated up. I'm just going to get some sweet chilli sauce. Um, these are fairly neutral in flavour so you can use the sauce of your choice. Um, I hope you try these out, they're very simple and you've probably got the ingredients. So I will catch you on the next recipe.